full of fun surprises, and we have got one of those with us today. Oh, yes. Starting today, we're so excited about this. Central Florida Zoo is going to join us once a week for a new segment. We're going to call it Wild Wednesday. <laughs> and as you saw earlier, Kristen's been walking around with Chili, the Savannah Monitor Lizard, introducing us uh, to him here at Fox 25. And our good friend Stephanie Kettle with Central Florida Zoo is here <laughs> to teach us a little bit more about Chili. Good to see you. First Hello. Of all. Thanks for coming morning. back to be with us. Thank you for having us. Tell us about Chili. Yeah, so Chili's a savanna monitor. He's from Africa, named after the savanna. You know, the savanna grasslands is where he would be found. Um, they are carnivore. They, in the wild, we eat small rodents. Um, they actually really like to dig up nests and eat eggs. And one of their coolest things I was telling Kristen earlier is that they actually can eat venomous snakes. They're actually immune to the venom. Um, and it's also too hard for snakes to get through their tough skin. I'm sure. So they can eat cobras and things like that in the wild. Yeah, Chili's got a lot of fans out there. Now, you were saying Chili was a pet before. Is that yep, common? Yeah, he was a pet. Um, they are common in the pet trade because they're a like leash. a big, you know, puppy lizard to a lot of people is how they view them. Um, he was a pet. He was highly overfed. Um, so as soon as he came to the zoo, he actually went on a diet for quite oh, a while. Stephanie, that's so mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, listen to what they were feeding him. They, the owner was feeding him a can of Alpo dog food. Every oh, day. Every day. That's why he's so, such a big body. So he came to the zoo and he was put on a much more naturalistic diet. He put on a treadmill. Um, yeah. <laughs> he got exercise. That's actually what's the least used for. We take him out in the zoo, um, you know, where he can go on his version of a walk where he mostly just lays in the sun, soaks up the sun. Um, but he's on a much more naturalistic diet his now. His tongue is so cool. Yeah, he's so, smelling us. Yeah, yeah, so monitor lizards have a snake-like tongue. So monitor lizards are things like Komodo dragons, this guy. Um, and they have that forked tongue just like a snake does. And they use it to pick up air particles, sense what's around them. It's a way they smell with their nose and with their tongue. It's really, really cool. Okay, so Stephanie, though, but they can be dangerous, right? Because I remember that story from years ago when Sharon Stone and her husband like went into an enclosure with a monitor yeah. lizard, and that lizard took a toe off of that guy, yeah, right? So okay. they, I mean, they have a really powerful <laughs> bite. <laughs> they have a very powerful bite. Um, but this guy, he's used to being handled. You know, we've worked with him a lot to be used to being handled by people. Um, we have a different type of monitor lizard in the zoo called a croc monitor. He doesn't get picked Ooh, up that and handled. That doesn't sound good. He doesn't get picked up and handled, so you wouldn't, you know, go in and just hang out with him kind of like you do with this guy. Okay. Um, it just depends. These guys are pretty relaxed. They are a common pet species because they're a little bit more relaxed. Um, we always recommend that if you're going to have an exotic pet, or if you're going to have any pet, cat, dog, monitor, lizard, snake, that you do a lot of research, know where it's coming from. want to make sure that this is not, you're not getting an animal that was taken out of the wild to yeah. be your pet because, oh, yeah. you know, it's got to stay in the wild. So um, do your research before getting an exotic pet. Do you trim his nails? Oh, no, he just scratches around, digs around, Trims his own nails. Oh, really? Yeah. She's got so much brave. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. She's just playing with him. I like my fingers very close to his mouth. I love it. Well, Stephanie, I want to mention too, we were just at the zoo a few weeks ago, and, and you guys do this cool thing over uh, by where you keep the snakes. Yeah. And, and you have an area where you guys like, bring out all the animals, and yeah. you let the kids get up close and personal and yeah. learn more about them. So that's our venom show every day at noon, and our keepers will actually bring out um, some of our venomous um, animals, mostly snakes and a couple lizards, um, to just teach people about snakes, teach them, you know, have a good fear of, you know, snakes, right. but not, and, you know, you don't need to go out and, you know. Yeah. Snakes are important, so that's a really, really cool show. Okay, yeah, it is. I loved it. Okay, so next week you're bringing the giraffe, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can that would be really I'll cool. He'll fit in the zoo van, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we can fit in the zoo van, that's what we're going to bring for Wild Wednesday. We did the snakes over there. That, we, yeah. we did that We did. That, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Stephanie helped us with that, actually. Yes. She was there to help coordinate. All right, we just want to say thank you so much to Central Florida Zoo. Uh, such a great facility, so beautiful. Absolutely. You can feed the giraffes. I don't think she'll be able to bring one, but you can go out and feed one yourself if you want to, if you want to head out there in Sanford. Right. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Bye. chili wave goodbye.